Hello everybody, it's George from the Shop2 channel and today a brand new car for GTA has been released. It's the Grotti X80 Proto and now this thing is an absolute monster. I was just showing you the FMJ because the stats are kind of similar but this thing drives so much better in my opinion. And here it is, it is frigging Nuts. Look at it. It is so, so nice. I've known about this car for a while. It's been in the files for a few weeks. Look at the, how the door opens. Everything about this car is just so sick. It's been in the files, as I said, for a few weeks, so we've known about it, and it's just been released this morning. So it costs 2.7 million. Oh my god, that's so expensive. But it is in the same kind of ballpark as the, um, what, the other one, the uh, T20. Which is also a very, very good car. This also does have a spoiler that works. You'll see it later on. And uh, it is really, really nice. You can do some really good customization with this bad boy as well. And as you'll see, I do do that. I didn't actually change the lights, which uh, I probably should have done. I forgot. But um, I think this car is the nicest and the best to drive car in the game. Whether this all relate to races or not... I don't know how it perform on ramps and stuff like that because that is an issue with some of the other cars, like the really high-end ones. But this car is so, so nice. I knew it was coming. I saved up some uh, GTA money just to buy this bad boy. But I knew exactly what the colour scheme was going to be that I'd go for because I'd seen it before and it looked nice. I've gone for the red interior, the blue uh, primary colour, ultra blue primary colour with the white pearlescent and then the white secondary colour. And then for the trim, we've gone for the red, which goes around the outside of the wheels as well. And there's that little pinstripe. Oh, it just looks so, so nice. But yeah, this car is available right now on GTA. And I definitely, if you've got the uh, the income to invest in this, I definitely recommend you go pick it up. I spent a while pondering over the spoilers, but I decided to go for the biggest one in the end because it's kind of got little extra bits that connect to the car, which make it look uh, uh, pretty cool. And uh, the e-brake, or whatever you want to call it, the spoiler that's animated beneath it still works. But as you can see, as I drive it out... It looks like an absolute badass. It looks so, so nice. This car is insane. I can't wait to uh, try it in some races and play with it some more. I'm a bit busy at the moment, so uh, I could only just record the customization of it. But it is nuts. It is so fast, and it's so good at handling. It's like the complete car, I would say. It's got aspects of like some of the other high-end cars, but it's all like rolled into one, which is kind of cool, because sometimes if you wanted handling, you'd have to go for the T20. If you wanted speed, you'd go for the T20 or the Adder. Or, for example, uh, you may use a different car that is like too low for races. I don't know about races for this one. But I think this has got it all. And it's got the speed, the looks, the handling. And hopefully it's not too low to get stuck in the ramps in races. But here, listen to the sound. The sound when you uh, when you shift down and it spits fire out the exhaust is absolutely nuts. It sounds so, so nice. And the overall engine noise for this car sounds really, really good as well. So overall, this is probably the best car in the game, in my opinion, at this point. I've tried every high-end car that there has been released so far. And uh, maybe this is like in there with the T20 and the uh, Vapid FMJ, I would say. They're both two pretty solid cars. But this one, I think, just pips them both because it, of the way it looks. It just looks so nuts. So I definitely recommend you check it out. It's available for GTA now. There's no update required. Just go check that out. My name's been George. I hope you've enjoyed. If you enjoyed the GTA videos, be sure to leave a like. And I'll see you guys next time.